Taurus, welcome back to my channel, Kimmy Chandra's here. I'm here to do a timeline love reading. Now it was the year 1820, so we're looking at 200 years ago, Taurus. Now this is a, one of the most um, important or significant days in that life. <coughs> Excuse me, and I have calculated the date through the Lenormand cards, and it is the 16th of April, 1820. Now the theme of this reading is about a particular day that you had to stick to what you promised to somebody. It's about being honourable and reliable, to be morally good, having that pure link and connection to this relationship. Now to commit virtue, abstinence or peace. Now this was practising of restraining from indulging in something, typically alcohol or possibly sex. This was about feeling happy within a relationship and committing to something because it was the right thing to do. Now, to find true happiness in a frugal lifestyle and determining what you want out of your life and finding a way to make it happen. So Taurus, to do good things in order to become more popular in this lifetime. And this was about happiness that came with wisdom and being aware of your emotions at the time. You found gratitude for family members and interior designing to make your home nicer and this was an attempt to make family life more pleasant and always be nice to others to reconnect with family and attend family gatherings now to elaborate rules or plans and overdo it with planning this was your traditional beauty standards and to plan visits and rules which applied when visiting or receiving guests at your home this was about being comfortable when socialising with others. Now, this was after some chaotic family life or living situations. Just finding there was no peace and um, in the home and being flexible in your family life. Making a quick reaction in matters concerning your family and feeling like you were never um, safe in the home. Acting quick to danger or warnings or anything that happened suddenly in the home, to constantly be on alert and aware of any danger that was approaching and having worries about <coughs> something um, that might end up from getting hurt from an unexpected visitor was keeping you up at night here, uh, Taurus. So now um, we're going to have a look at what you look like back in this lifetime. And we've got the house, the whip, and the scythe. So you were quite sturdy, a male in this incarnation. You had wide, wide shoulders with a solid walk. So it was pretty hard on your feet, Taurus. You had a high sex drive, and you were a very stylish dresser. You're quite conservative. At times very strict and traditional in the home and you didn't like to bend your rules either you're a person with very confirmed habits as a family member but sometimes this led to having a sharp tongue so maybe uh, you were cut off by a family member in some way is what I'm feeling now your partner we have the ring the bouquet and the lily now <clears throat> excuse me your partner was of light coloring but a little bit on the plumpish side but not fat uh, not overweight this woman had a nice face lush dark blonde hair and more bright colors her face was quite mature but it oozed confidence she was a wise soul she'd been here many times before you were married to this beautiful woman, Taurus. Now she had a, uh, a good social connection and social ties and she was bound together by her friendships. She always promised to visit her friends more often. Now you both shared things in common like interior designing. This person had a willingness to compromise, be loving and kind to you. And she always treated others well and gave honest compliments to others. She always gave gifts without expecting anything in return because she just wanted to make people feel happy. So she sounded like a beautiful woman that you were with. 
And she was a Taurus back in this lifetime. Now, it could be a reverse role. This could be um, the other way around. So take it in your situation, Taurus. Now, the past, we're going to look at the past that was leading up to this significant day in 1820. We had the ring, the house, and the sun. So, Taurus, this was about sharing your home, having family ties and connections. But you seemed a little bit worried about a commitment that was um, where you were going to break a promise or you wanted to discontinue a commitment, several ties. And this could have been you wanting a divorce back in that lifetime. Now, although you had a happy family and your family was full of traditions and strict moral and values, your home was very humble and this influence showed on how you raised your, your family. Now, there were rules to stay in at night, rules regarding sleeping time. So these were traditional rules and boundaries set up for your family. But there was something fearful going on in the atmosphere of your family. And this was familiar intuition that was going on. You were feeling depressed and now there was a shadow that lied on this home and the family. So let's see what happened on this day, the 16th of April, 1820. Now we have the house, the whip and the scythe. Now Taurus, this was about sharing your home, having family ties and connections, and you've been worried about this commitment. It definitely, um, had an aggression of some kind where you were abusing someone in the family or you, there was a bit of violence in the family home. These were about the rules and traditions concerning atonement or punishment for someone that didn't follow your rules. Now, there was family guilt, a conflict within the family, and this family felt threatened about its habits and they were ridiculed for them. Now, this was about settling old scores with the family to sever some all family ties and you behaved in such a mean way. This was exploiting someone's good nature so you could alleviate guilt or shame by being so harsh. Now you were trying to sugarcoat something which was quite horrible in reality. So let's see what we're going on here. I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit because it's getting a bit too loud. Now, what was about to happen, Taurus? We had the sun, the birds, and the moon. So this tells me there was um, superficial chit-chat and circling thoughts and worries that destroyed the family happiness. And this is you being aware where there was disorder in the family home. It was emotions that were all over over the place, unstable emotions, which disturbed everybody's sleep. So maybe you up at night, conflicting within what was going on within your head. Now, the near future, we had the lily, the scythe and the moon. And this is you... Trying to stop doing things for moral reasons. This was about forgoing something that was bad to renounce something that was wrong. An urgent need to make things right straight away. And this was to deal with your deepest needs and fears in a wise way, dear Taurus. Now you became conscious of something suddenly and painfully. And there was deep emotional hurt. This is something that ripped right down the core in this lifetime. So now we're going to take a look at what was just ahead for you in that lifetime. And Taurus, you're about to receive an invitation with I think you pretty much accepted with no hesitation at all. And this most important event within the next year was about meeting two different people both who influenced you hugely. 
Now, will Taurus meet their soulmate in 2020? And I believe that you will. And you will know whether this person is the right person within a year. So let's see. We've got the strength in the lover's tarot. In the upright position. And your partner is definitely honest, optimistic and forthright. They have a sunny nature which will uplift others. An extrovert character. They are never depressed for longer periods of um, time. And it's unlikely that your partner has led a peaceful existence here, Taurus. Now, they have encountered many trials in previous lifetimes, faced times of crisis and even been abandoned. Now, their inner light shines brightly for this reason. And compassion for others stems from personal disappointment and unha unhappiness for them. Your partner is reliable and faithful. Their love is realistic and accepting any differences between you with cheerfulness and warmth. So it sounds like the partner in the past incarnation. And um, I'm feeling that your partner will um, love loyalty and for they're really into loyalty and fidelity. It's certainly important to them. And once they commit themselves, they expect the same high standard of you. Now, this person is going to be in your life for a long time. Now, I'm feeling um, this will be a time of reconciliation for both of you. And you may have adapted opposing attitudes and been locked in a battle that you thought nobody could win. But you will discover middle ground again. Make compromises to which is going to satisfy you both. Now your mutual antagonism will show you both where your relationship was unsatisfactory in 1820. And your struggle was a positive way of releasing the tension which built up in that lifetime. Now you will have more flexibility in this newfound peace. Taurus, if you have just met somebody and you're inquiring about them, you may expect a creative personal relationship to evolve. And the love between you will be deep. With time for strength is unlikely to signify a fling or a brief affair. Now this card will bring you in touch with your animal nature in a positive, life-affirming way. So that's beautiful. So I really feel like it's that woman coming back into your life. Take it in uh, your situation. The roles may be reversed in this reading. But that's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, please like and subscribe to the channel. If it's uh, affecting something in your life in 2020, uh, this is it stemmed from this particular day, the, eight, uh, the 16th of April, 1820. So please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Bye for now. Love to all.